Kang the Conqueror is quickly rising through the ranks as one of the most anticipated threats in the MCU, with an armada of equipment and technology at his disposal to subjugate entire timelines with his crusade. At his core though, Kang is still just a human with access to incredibly advanced gadgetry, an affinity for engineering, and a thirst for conquest, meaning that he has no natural superpowers of his own. While several versions of him have augmented their own physical attributes and have used technology to advance their own capabilities, perhaps his most vital asset is his mind. As a descendant of Reed Richards, and possibly of Doctor Doom as well, Kang the Conqueror is incredibly intelligent and unnaturally intuitive, which is a large reason why he is so successful and such a major threat. So stick with us today, watchers of the Marvel Multiverse, and let's talk about just how intelligent Kang actually is, and whether or not he stands up to some of Marvel's finest geniuses such such as Shuri or Tony Stark. First, it's important to note that this is an incredibly ambiguous concept, and there are multiple definitions for most intelligent, and this answer can be changed based on the perspective, so let's break it down through a few different lenses. For this video, we won't be simply talking about the IQ, or listing the respective IQs of different heroes in a ranking list, but instead we'll be evaluating particular strengths and weaknesses of each respective character and where they shine. If we are simply talking about sheer access to uniform and utility of already available knowledge, then Kang is far more knowledgeable than our contemporary MCU geniuses simply because of how many discoveries have been made in the hundreds of years leading to his birth. Perhaps where Kang is at his strongest is that he might not be the smartest, but he is among the best users of information that he has. Reed Richards can find information better than anyone else throughout his exploration, but Kang uses it more effectively in some situations, in many cases because he already has the steps leading to it. He has access to far more knowledge and information than anyone in the modern MCU era, and is able to study the technological advancements that our favorite geniuses have yet to even discover. King come from a time when Earth's smartest minds have already made all the advancements they'd ever make in their lifetime, granting him complete access to their histories, and allowing him to use these advancements to further his own. This gives him an unfallible head start, as heroes of the 21st century will be scrambling to catch up with what Kang the Conqueror already knows. Kang also has the unique ability to travel across different timelines whenever he pleases, which will allow him to learn from these alternate realities as well. In Loki, we see that his MCU counterparts began by sharing knowledge and technology, exponentially increasing what they can learn from variants of himself in such a short amount of time rather than making each discovery on his own. King can see the discoveries that not only alternate versions of himself have made, but variants of all of Marvel's favorite geniuses from across the multiverse, making him one of the fastest learners in the Marvel Universe. He can can tap into information obtained by hundreds of versions of Reed Richards on their voyages, compound them with machines designed and built by hundreds of versions of Tony Stark, and learn about the universe to a magnitude that inhabitants of the 21st century cannot even comprehend. While Kang is incredibly intelligent of his own accord, this head start is his most valuable asset, as it naturally puts heroes of the 21st century at an immediate disadvantage. If we are to analyze how easily Kang is able to process and utilize this information, however, and look into his problem-solving abilities, then we are able to more closely assess how he compares to the likes of Tony Stark and Reed Richards on neutral ground. Each of these individuals have their own strengths and areas of interest. For instance, Reed Richards is unequivocally the most powerful mind in the modern Marvel Universe, with an ability to process and utilize information that dwarves even the closest competitors, but even he has his weaknesses. While he has the strongest ability to process and apply information, Richards is an explorer seeking to absorb information and learn about the world around him, but he is very narrow-minded. Reed has described his problem-solving process as finding one solution to one problem and tackling any particular issue head-on, but he has regarded Tony Stark as a much better multitasker. While Reed is more intelligent than Tony Stark, Stark's affinity for machinery and his creativity far outshines that of even Reed Richards, which then leaves us to wonder, in which areas is Kang truly smarter? Perhaps Kang's strong point is his strategic mind and his ability to assess combat scenarios as well as foreign universes and realities, not to mention environments, which is far beyond several of Marvel's smartest minds. He is able to develop contingencies for most heroes based on the variety of different contributing factors that only he has access to. For Kang, superheroes are historical figures that he can study and learn about in their entirety, and this allows him to understand their weaknesses far better than anyone in the modern eras. He has also had encounters with their multiversal counterparts, practicing defeating various icons from other timelines and giving him insight into how they could not only conduct themselves in battle, 
but how they minutely behave in combat, and how to counteract their strengths to exploit their weaknesses. This, in tandem with his wealth of technology and information, means the Kang knows his enemies better than they know themselves, and he understands their entire lives, which they haven't even lived yet. Kang is also much better at understanding technology that already exists rather than creating his own inventions. While he is still highly creative and is more than capable of coming up with his own creations if need be, he is much better at evaluating technology that is already available from across the multiverse and finding a unique use for it that benefits himself. He can therefore collect gadgetry from across various different timelines, study and understand them, and then use them to further his own agenda rather than spend his time experimenting with his own creations. This makes Kang potentially the best evaluative analyst, which is much more similar to Reed Richards' approach to information over someone like Tony Stark. Stark, who exercises his creative mind to create brand new weapons and tools. While he wouldn't be able to build many of Stark's inventions, he would be able to understand and use them with relative ease. So why build Stark tech when he can simply steal it from some other multiverse and use it for his own purposes? While there is no firm evaluation for intelligence and the use of intelligence, and we feel simple IQ evaluations don't do these characters justice. There are areas where Kang is more gifted than someone like Reed Richards and others where Reed Richards would dominate over Kang. Reed remains the single most intelligent human character currently known, but his personality and approach to problems leaves even him subject to pitfalls that Kang can exploit. And Kang has areas where he shines. While he is not outright smarter, his access to information and technology, as well as his ability to study and evaluate heroes, tech, and eras, makes him one of the best users of information in all of the multiverse. Not to mention, one of the most dangerous threats. But anyway, my friends and watchers, what do you think of this assessment? Do you think Kang's ability to understand foreign technology and the information he has available to him is his greatest asset? And if not, then what else do you think serves him best in all of his many conquests? As always, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to support the YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and I hope that you have a great day.